o'clock. Barnhill Preserve will be here tomorrow for a presentation. Bring your permission slips in so you don't miss the fun. Donuts with Dynamic Dudes this Friday, so be sure to bring that special dude in your life to come. Also, be earning money for the book fair that starts that day. Advanced program testing is this week. Please be extra quiet in the hallway so students can concentrate. Now for some more special announcements. Well, good morning, boys and girls. I just want to talk, talk to you today about one of your backpack skills. I know Miss Works has been talking to you about. It is being a productive collaborator. And inside that skill is what we're going to be doing is called active listening. And active listening, guys, is where you understand others' ideas and others' perspectives. A perspective is basically what that person is thinking and what, and basically what they feel or believe is uh, right or wrong about that information. And also, guys, it also talks about listening uh, with your ears, your eyes, your mind, and your heart. So when you're thinking about those, you're wondering, well, how do you listen with those? Well, that's what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about. So ways to actively listen. So the first step, guys, what you're going to do is look at the speaker. So that's with your eyes. You're looking at that person. You're giving that person knowledge that you're listening to them by looking at them. The second thing is you listen to and think about what the person is saying or telling, to, telling you. And so that's using your ears because you're listening to the words. And you're also thinking about what they're saying by using your mind. You're actually thinking about what that person is talking about. And you're thinking about how that relates to maybe yourself or what you're thinking. And then the third thing is you wait until that person is done talking. So that's uh, giving them listening skills with your ears because you're waiting until they're done. You're not interrupting. You're not blurting out. You're not being disrespectful. And you're also listening with your heart there because that way you are thinking about what they have to say and you're listening to what their ideas are about. The fourth thing is you're going to respond to what that person is saying. So you're using all your uh, areas of listening there. Ears, eyes, mind and heart because you're going to think about what they've been talking to you about you're going to give them that attention and then you're going to respond so you might say something like hey that was cool i enjoyed hearing about that or hey, tell me a little bit more about that so you're giving them information and ideas that you're listening to them and then the last thing the fifth thing is then you're going to say what you want to say so once they're done you have responded to them and then you're going to say your opinion so that way they can then give you active listening. And when you're saying your opinion, guys, you're using your mind because you're thinking about what you want to say. And you're also using your heart because you're not going to say something that's negative or disrespectful back to them. So guys, remember those five ways to actively listen. And next week, you're going to see Morgan's man. And I want you to think about how he is not using those five ways to active listen.